Singapore was the first country in Southeast Asia to introduce a carbon tax in 2019. At five Singapore dollars per ton, it applies to all large emitters across all sectors here. The initial rate of five Singapore dollars was set to 2023 and will bring in about one billion Singapore dollars in revenue to help companies improve energy efficiency. This rate is set to increase to 10 to 15 Singapore dollars by 2030. And after months of public consultation, the government is expected to reveal its decision at Budget 2022. Just how much carbon tax is enough? The World Bank initiative has estimated that 67 to 135 Singapore dollars by 2030 is needed to meet the Paris Agreement's goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Sweden charges the highest carbon rate in the world at about 180 Singapore dollars. The rate was raised from the initial 37 Singapore dollars in 1991 and it has helped the country reduce its emissions by 35% over 30 years. Watchers have pointed out that Singapore's current pricing is too low, and Sustainability and the Environment Minister Grace Fu agreed that a stronger price signal will be needed. This will tilt the skill, scales further in favour of more innovative, low-carbon technologies, driving companies to take bolder steps towards decarbonisation. This will also keep Singapore's carbon tax trajectory in line with the broader international momentum on climate action. But others caution that raising the carbon tax too quickly could hurt Singapore's competitiveness. A researcher from the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy has estimated that every five Singapore dollars per tonne of tax could increase the average energy bill by about 1%. Inevitably, there will be businesses that may not be able to break even or cope with the carbon tax increases and may exit, exit. So we have to minimise such casualties and help as many businesses as possible to transit. Acknowledging the higher costs, Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong said the government will give firms time to adapt, while it is also considering ways to ease the impact on households. But to achieve net zero emissions, analysts say carbon taxes alone would not be enough without more environmental awareness and greener technologies. 